Um, because I've tested that so many. I've got more to test out. Did you see my mic just move by itself then? Did you see my mic just move by itself then? I weren't touching that, people. That's actually terrifying. Let's put you back. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I bring you another BL3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So about three or four days back and actually probably a little longer than that, I posted a video on my DigiClone Zane build. It's called the Lazy Zane because I claimed you could put your legs up, you could sit back and your clone does all the work for you. Now I'm back on Xbox, tested out so many things because obviously I've got way more of a stash on Xbox than I do on PC and I've been playing on PC now for probably about two weeks but I've come back to Xbox, come back home and I've kind of adjusted the build in terms of adding things to it uh, artifacts, mods, shields and today I bring you the final version check out this clip on the screen now to see what this thing is capable of Now you'll see more footage of the build at the end of the video but I want to run you guys through exactly what I've well, added the build itself if it's the first time you've seen it and why I've used said things. So we're going to get strange with people. Okay so the weapons we use on this build, I'm not going to lie to you guys, this is really more about experimenting with yourself. No that didn't sound right, not experiment with yourself, experimenting for yourself. So for me the OPQ system is an all round monster when in the hands of the digi clone but there's a few weapons which i've tried and tested which are just unbelievable too but like i said it is all about experimenting some weapons you think will be great with a clone are actually not some things you think that will be pretty whack are actually amazing in the clone's hands so for me if i had to suggest anything or give you guys my opinion i'd definitely experiment for yourself now weapons are another amazing OPQ system, complex route, uh, light shot is pretty cool, gargoyle is amazing, the sandhawk, beacon, but there's some great great weapons out there, but I, I do suggest you experimenting for yourself. Now what I will say is, for every individual element um, a weapon offers, I do buff it, so to speak, with the shield and the artifact, and they're probably the two main additions I've added into the build besides my class mod, which you will not believe until you see it. So with the shield, as you can see here, I'm using the old god. Now the old god, in my opinion, is probably the best shield for this build. Now I haven't experimented with them all. I know there's a few ones out there that do buff weapon damage, but for me, I just think how easy this is to farm and the different variants that are out there. I think this is probably the best you're gonna get. So as you can see here, like I said, I like to use my OPQ system, which uh, obviously is that burst of electric, which kills you a lot but if I switch to let's say the light show I'm using here then I'll switch up my old god to one that offers solar and if I switch it to the gargoyle I'll go for a corrosive one annoyments on these obviously you want one that helps both of you because like I've got this is all my 57 stash I haven't had time to farm for new gear in terms of shields and quite, actually quite a few weapons too but I will be onto the farming don't you worry about that but obviously you want the annoyment on the shield to help you and the clone so something like this, on actual skill end, gain 50% bonus radiation damage or any elemental damage uh, for 10 seconds. It doesn't matter what the element is, as long as you gain that bonus damage. Now, I, are you ready for this class mod? Are you ready for this class mod? Check that out. <laughs> 
check that out. Now this is perfect for me and this build. I mean, the one the one perk I would suggest you're looking at for, which just buffs the clone ridiculously, is the plus 36% action skill damage. That is one thing you, I mean the other two here help, but the action skill damage is a must on the scene dead in terms of the DPS the clone does, it's unbelievable. Using it without this and using it with this, the difference is crazy. But I've also got weapon damage on this too. I mean, you could probably get a specific weapon type damage on here also. But me, I'm not going to lie. I got a thing about extra mag size and it's for me as a player. I don't even think it, it comes into effect with a clone. That's something or a test for another day. But for me, I like to have the biggest magazine size possible on my weapons. And this helps unbelievable with that. So yeah, as you can see, free into the book as well, which is just extra damage here. But yeah, this is a great, 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 great uh, version of the class mod for the build. I mean, if you play on Xbox too, just jump in my Discord, linked in the video description. I may just dupe this for you and send it, yeah. But other than that, if you play on PC or PS4, I can't really do much to help. But if you're looking for a scene dead for this build, you need one with action skill damage on it. The other two perks just they don't really matter that much. I mean, obviously, you can get bonuses from them, but the action skill damage is the most people. Grenade. That is pissed. I mean, do we have to read that out for you? Damage enemies take plus 20% increased damage for 6 seconds. On grenade thrown. Weapon, grenade and action skill damage are increased by 25% for 6 seconds. That is definitely the anointment you want on this thing. Now what I will say is uh, the items here in terms of artifact, grenade, class mod and shield. If you don't know where to farm these, uh, I'll put them on screen right now. Leave them there for about 20 seconds just so you know exactly we can farm individual items here. So this is definitely the grenades you want, 100%. And the difference it makes is amazing. Now Artifact for me, is all about the Victory Rush. I just think it's, well for me, and I've, I've made this Artifact for a long, long time. I've got many, many different variants of it. I mean, it's probably the one I keep looking out for unless they introduce something new and I test it out. But for me, I just love the Victory Rush. Now Victory Rush, and as you can see, I have got a ton of these. And I've got them really to support each individual weapon I'm using. So if I switch to an SMG or if I switch to a pistol, a sniper, I mean, I've got so many of these, it's unbelievable. But yes, what you want to look out for is, and what works good with the Digiclone, uh, is area of effect damage, works amazing. Obviously, individual elemental damage would work. Um, so what else, we've got weapon damage as well, obviously. And there's a few other things I think which you should look out for, which will help you as a player in terms of running around with Zane. So like magazine size is always a benefit. So there's a few things on artifacts which will help both you as a player and the Digiclone. But that's what you want to look out for. Like I said, Victory Rush is the one to go for in my opinion. But you can probably experiment a little with this. That is completely up to you. I wouldn't say it's essential to the build. It's just what I like using. But obviously skills on them. You want something that helps the weapon you plan on spawning the Digiclone in with. So like the one I'm using right here is Assault Rifle Damage and Shock Damage, which helps with the OPQ system. And I got a Shield Recharge Delay because obviously with the perks in the skill trees that we have selected, if you can recharge your shield quicker, helps a lot. So on to the build, people. We're going to start with Action Skill Slot 1 Skill Tree, and that is the Digiclone. Okay, so we start with five points into synchronicity. Whenever one or more of Zane's action skills are active, he gains increased gun damage for each active action skill. 20% each people, 40% plus damage. What's not to love about that? Me and my magazine size, three points into Premunitus. We then have five points into Donnybrook because this is just amazing for damage output. Uh, as you can see, whenever Zane kills an enemy, he and his Digiclone receive increased gun damage and health regeneration for a few seconds. This effect stacks twice and we can see the gun damage effect there of plus 36% as well as 6% of missing health per second which lasts 15 seconds duration on both, pretty cool. Okay so we have here Fractal Frax. The Digiclone throws a copy of Zane's current grenade mod when it is first activated. If the Digiclone is killed it drops a free grenade. Also, killing an enemy while a Digiclone is active gives a clone a chance to throw a grenade. Benefit. We then have Duct Tape Mod. The first shot fired from Zane's gun has a chance to fire a grenade. This skill has a short cooldown. Four points into this, 
So these two here are a must. They bring uh, basically uh, its piss grenade into play, activating its anointment as well as its benefits. Okay, so we then have Quick Breather. Super underrated mod or super underrated skill in my opinion. Whenever Zayn swaps places with his clone, his shield immediately begins recharging and restores health to the clone. This paired with a double barrel at the bottom, which we'll get into in a second. Plus plus. We then have two points into pocket full of grenades. This is actually very important because although this is a free grenade, and uh, these are free grenades as well, they don't consume our own grenades, Boom Enhanced does, and this consumes three of our own grenades. So we need a way of regenerating said grenades. Two here is absolutely perfect. No need to put three, two is fine. We then have Supersonic Man. Speed equals damage, as I'll go further into when we get to the Sentinel Tree, but yes, speed equals damage. Again, Boom Enhanced. This is just an absolute must. Whenever Zayn summons his Digiclone, it consumes up to three grenades. For every grenade consumed, the Digiclon gains increased gun damage, max health, fire rate, reload, and Digiclon duration. And we can see the effects this has. 20% gun damage per grenade, three grenades, 60% damage increase. Ridiculous. Let me see max health, fire rate, reload speed, Digiclon duration. People, people, that's gotta be chosen. And then the final perk here, double barrel. The clone is equipped with a copy of Zayn's currently equipped weapon when activated. Swapping places with the clone causes Zayn and his clone to gain increased gun damage. So keep switching places people for extra damage. That paired with the anointments on your weapon as well as a uh, quick breather, you're getting health back, increased weapon damage, craziness. The augments here, you can mix up, it's completely up to you. I'm not even realizing they're coming into play, but I'm using binary system and then we have whatever that says. I can barely speak English people, so I, we're going to pretend to try and pronounce that thing. Eh, 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 eh. But yeah, whatever that is. But we can see what it does. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next uh, skill tree, which is Barrier. And this is the second uh, skill we use. Five points into Adrenaline. We see what this does. Zayn gains increased as his skill cooldown rate. This bonus is based on the amount of shields he has. The more percent full, the greater the bonus. As you saw from my artifact, uh, the one I use for my OPQ system, which has got shot damage, assault rifle damage, and shield recharge delay. If I remember that correctly, let's have a look. Yes, shield recharge delay. So anything that helps with your shield recharging quicker will help you right here. Five points into brain freeze. Whenever Zayn scores a critical hit on an enemy, there's a chance they will be slowed. This effect stacks until the target is frozen, and this works absolute wonders. That's why I use it. We then have Confident Competence Selected, most important perk on this tree. While Zayn shield are active, he gains increased gun damage and accuracy. This bonus is based on the amount of shields he has. The more percent full, the greater the bonus. Again, I believe this only affects, I mean, I'm not sure it could affect the Digiclone. is isn't something I've tested, but it's something I put into the build because of Zayn and buffing Zayn at the same time. We need an all-around build, people remember that. Augments we're using with this action skill, we're using Nanites or some shite, and we're also using All-Rounder to fully protect the Digiclone from all sides people, from all sides people. Okay, so next up, and this is the last, well, this is the last, it's the third, until they release the fourth. Okay, so we have five points into violent speed and five points into violent momentum. And I will say this skill tree is probably coming into play more so for the benefits of Zayn as the player, not the Digiclone. So yeah, speed equals power people. We then have three points into cool hand. Zayn gains increased reload speed. It's actually pretty cool and it's, it actually helps. Then we're gonna have one point into Salvation because you're playing on Mayhem 10, this is a Mayhem 10 build. I mean, you're doing between five shots will regen your health because it, it, the damage you're dealing is that crazy. I mean, 3% of damage dealt, you score a million damage. I mean, it ain't hard nowadays. How much your health is gonna be regened? So yeah, you only need one here. Don't waste points here. Do not waste points there. We then have Death Follows Close. All of Zayn's kill skills gain increased effect and duration. What's not to love? We then have two points into violent violence, and I think it's, yeah, it's three points here, playing dirty. I should really take off the class mod when I'm doing this to make it more easier, but it's definitely three points here. These, you could probably put five in one, five in the other, it's up to you. But for me, I just like a bit of both. So yeah, I got two in uh, violent violence and two in playing dirty, or three in playing dirty. 
Three. <laughs> and then we have, and finally, we have Good Misfortune. Kill skill. Killing an enemy increases Zayn's action skill duration. This effect or this skill has diminishing returns. Don't know what that means to be honest, I've never really tested it out but I don't really see any diminishing returns when I'm playing. But one is definitely enough here because if you're shooting, you actually you don't even need to shoot yourself. Digiclone does that much damage, lays down that much damage, obviously depending on the weapon you're using, but it lays down that much damage. Your action skills are more or less completely 100% active, especially while there are enemies in front of you. So one point is all that's needed here. And guys, that is actually the entire build. Now on screen now you will see gameplay of this build and what it's capable of. The exact build, nothing changed. Um, obviously besides obviously if I'm using a different weapon, if I'm using the Gargoyle, if I'm using the Sandhawk, or if I'm using the Complex Root. Depending on the element, that's where the old dog gets switched up and that's where the artifact gets switched up too. But just remember that guys. But yeah, this is the build, this is the final version of the Laser Zane. And is in my opinion one of the best out there. Now, if you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps. Uh, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can get notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.